Hi everyone, I wanted to show you right here. Do you remember what was here? It was a big giant mulberry tree and it was about, I don't know, two and a half feet radius, three feet radius. And so it was right here in this spot right here. And we had it removed and stump ground because um, it was a nice tree. Um, mulberry trees are okay. They, the leaves provide a lot of uh, protein for animals. Um, however, it was a fruitless mulberry tree and it had ivy growing on it and we had pulled the ivy off several times but it keeps coming back and just overtaking. It finally overtook the whole tree all the way to the top and including some of the main branches or most of the main branches. So we decided to have it removed and clear out this area so that when we move our chicken tractor or our rabbit pens, then we'll be able to move them to this location or anywhere all around and it will be wonderful. Um, so, uh, and we'll have more sunlight here and um, also I believe there was a possum or a raccoon or something that would climb up there and live up up in that tree so it was just really annoying and this way we don't have that burden that's really close to the house so what I'm gonna do here is sheet mulch it. I have a, a lot of cardboard here and let me show you what happened. Oh, so here are some of the um, the wood shavings from having that tree cut down and some of the ivy leaves if you can see and for the most part um, I've been just pulling up bits that look like this that have um, the stem because then it can um, grow into more of them and I don't want that and as far as just the leaves go I just <coughs> leave those <coughs> so let me show you what I have done here is some mulch that we ordered and we it's a huge truckload so we're gonna transfer that cart by cart over the sheet mulch area and let it decay over the winter with the winter rains. And then I will show you the before and after. So that's what we've been up to and um, although a tree that large is really valuable and I really love trees, I just did not like the ivy growing all over it and um, what it was harboring. So here we are on our journey. We have much more space now because before we had to figure out how to put the chicken pen and the rabbit pen um, around, around that tree. And I was growing kind of around it. So at the periphery, I have all kinds of things growing. And now I can pull these things out or transfer them, transplant them, and I will have more of an area here um, for various things. So keep on watching um, and click like and subscribe and we let's grow things together. Have a great day. So I've laid all the cardboard down and that's part of the sheet mulching to keep any of the roots from that mulberry tree from getting moisture in the next uh, few months. And um, then I'm going to heavily put that layer of mulch over it and that'll prevent this layer of uh, mulch from growing anything. It has weed seeds in there. Um, I'm not sure what they are little balls um, but uh, it's a mixture of palm tree stumps or bark and 
some kind of tree and um, I'm just going to cover all this, a thick layer of this onto here and keep watering it and letting it rot down <coughs> over the winter. So it's going to be nice and um, nice soil eventually. Meanwhile, breaking down, further drying the mulberry roots. So there you have it. And I'm going to keep working on this. Hello there, this is about 10 cartloads and I'm setting the boundaries so that when, um, <clears throat> if it, if it kind of falls over it doesn't take up too much where, of where I grew my plants and it'll be a guide for my kids helping me out to lay this mulch out. So I'm going to take a rest and continue later so I'll keep you posted there you go guys we hauled all that wood chip material and shredded um, tree bark and leaves and everything and it's about ooh, a foot and a half tall maybe uh, and some leaves and so these are the mounds after dropping them off in the carts. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna come over here and smooth it out with the rake and make it flat instead of these mounds or wait a few days and have that and, and do that in order for this stuff to break down a little more. Kind of like, um, what do you call it? when you um, turn a compost pile. I might do that. So maybe let it sit for three days a week and then, you know, turn it, not turn it, but sort of break it over. And along this path here, I filled it twice um, or three times, something like that. So, and right now it's nice and fluffy. And in the mornings, it gets pretty hot because when we were raking it up, it was steaming. So it's breaking down already because it's slightly moist. And that's what I, um, we have to do is just um, every few days wet this pile and the bacteria microbes will do the job of breaking it down for you until it's nice, good mulch. I don't even mind the big pieces. They're all mixed up. so. Uh, we'll keep you posted on how it comes up. Thank you for watching. So, here I have another pile of leaves that we've just collected. And we just threw it on top. And it's, um, quite tall. And we're just going to keep, um, tilling it, turning it over, and piling it really high. Because it needs to be about three feet high or something in order to break down and we uh, right now we have just sunny and cloudy days that reach up to their 60s or 70s and I'm just waiting for the days when it rains and um, I'll water this pile every now and then but I'm trying to make this break down rather quickly and, and you will see that it will so this whole area here this was where, that was where the rabbits used to be, and then next to it were the chickens, and then in that corner was that big um, mulberry tree that had um, ivy growing all over it, and now we have this whole entire cleared space, and um, I'm trying to keep any roots, although we had the roots, um, shave down. I just want to make sure that the mulberry roots don't keep thriving. So that's why we have all this mulch here. Um, and also to uh, basically amend and condition the soil. So we mounted some of that mulch here. And this looks like very little, but we did place some mulch here. And then as you can see, it gets mounted more and more in that direction and um, it'll collect the rainwater and 
hopefully kind of by gravity um, go down in this direction and I have a path here that I carved out for um, walking but I'm sure that the water will flow that way and as you can see I've covered my plants it looks like a little ghost town but I have a moringa in one of those some basil um, trying to protect all the tender tender plants and uh, see how they fare <clears throat> so that is what is happening and every few days I just till over a little pile and keep on going and uh, I'll keep you posted thank you for watching